Thackeray Burns O'Garo, born on October 20, 2004, is a British internet personality who used to be known as Mizzy on YouTube and TikTok, both of which ban him. His videos are pranks, which range from simple skits to illegal activities like trespassing, have made him famous. Due to his actions, Mizzy has been the target of legal action. O'Garo was born on October 20, 2004 at Homerton University Hospital. He grew up in the Stoke Newington neighborhood of London before moving to Dartford, Kent, and then Hackney, London. O'Garo was estranged from his father and was raised in a Christian household primarily by his mother. He is half-sister to two older women. O'Garo utilizes web-based entertainment to share recordings of tricks and work the TikTok account under the moniker Mizzy. According to his accounts, he has broken into shops, broken into vehicles and homes without permission, and harassed people. O'Garo went viral in the summer of 2023 because of a series of pranks he posted on his TikTok channel that turned into antisocial behavior. One of the pranks had O'Garo uninvited enter a stranger's house and film the conversation. The footage shows the parents repeatedly asking O'Garo to leave the house, which belonged to a family with young children. After being shared on TikTok, the video went viral on social media. O'Garo received a community protection notice in May 2022 that forbade him from entering private property. After admitting violating that community protection order on May 15, 2023, he was given a two-year criminal behavior order CBO and a fine of £200 plus costs and surcharge a total of £365. On the same day, journalist Piers Morgan spoke with O'Garo on Piers Morgan Uncensored and referred to him as an idiot, claiming that the 18-year-old is a product of his upbringing. O'Garo blamed anti-black racism for the negative media coverage during the Morgan interview. O'Garo said that he was peer compelled into the viral trick and that he felt regret for his activities, making sense of that he was sorry to the family the following day, yet decided not to communicate his conciliatory sentiment and transform it into content. Patrick O'Flynn, a former politician and journalist, praised O'Garo's entrepreneurial spirit and pointed to his capacity to seize the media spotlight and turn it into social media followers. Both O'Garo's YouTube and TikTok accounts were taken down. O'Garo was taken into police custody on May 26, 2023. The following day, he went to Thames Magistrates Court, pleaded not guilty to three counts of violating the CBO, and was remanded in custody. He was released on bail on the 30th under the condition that he lived in Hackney with his mother, and the date of his trial was set for July 19. The 30th hearing drew attention because it was held several hours before the scheduled time, so no members of the media were present. O'Garo left a talk TV interview on June 3, 2023, after host Andre Walker yelled at him and said he looked threatening. Walker then said he would personally remove O'Garo, you flashed her a threatening glare. If you repeat that, I will drag you out by the hair. Jason Okende, a researcher and writer, wrote in The Guardian in June 2023 that social media users' preference for more outrageous content was to blame for O'Garo's escalating behavior. Mizzy's actions are fundamentally wrong and cannot be tolerated. Mizzy's pranks, which started out as harmless skits and turned into illegal activities like trespassing and harassment, show that he doesn't care about other people's safety or consent. Like how stupid and immature can you be to do such things? This shows that people of today will do anything to get some temporary fame without seeing if what they do is correct or not. It is a clear violation of privacy to enter a stranger's home without permission and film the interaction especially when young children are involved. This can cause the affected family a great deal of stress. Not only are such deeds morally repugnant, but they are also against the law. Mez's repeated disregard for the law and others' safety is demonstrated by his disregard for the community protection notice and subsequent violation of the criminal behavior order. Mez's actions cannot be excused because of his upbringing or societal factors like racism. While outside impacts can shape people somewhat, it is eventually their obligation to pursue moral decisions and approach others with deference. He is still responsible for the harm he has caused or the consequences of his actions, even if he claims regret after the fact or blames peer pressure. It is clear that the platforms have taken a stand against Mizzy's harmful content from the removal of his YouTube and TikTok accounts. 
Social media platforms must ensure that those who promote illegal and dangerous behavior are held accountable. The seriousness of Mizzy's actions can be seen in the legal proceedings he has been subjected to, including his arrest, trial, and possible sentence. Given the impact it has had on the victims and society as a whole, it is critical that the justice system deal with his behavior appropriately. Mizzy's actions are harmful, illegal, and morally questionable. They exhibit an absence of compassion, regard, and obligation. In order to create a safe and respectful online environment for all users, it is essential to reject and condemn such conduct. Hope you all liked the video. Thank you all for watching. Take care.